YouTube Try Stars Try Stars Check it Thanks for tuning in And in this video I just want to talk about That thumbnail That I, that I posted I actually Saw This uh, Incident Or Accident What you would call it By Swift And I don't know if I can find All All of, all of the pictures that I, that I want to talk about today But um I saw them and you know on YouTube sometimes some guys will get those videos and put it up and they, they state it as stupid drivers and whatever they want to title it you know as but they put it on there to describe the challenge and I saw a lot of views on it because I, I apparently other you know viewers like to see you know stupid drivers or whatever or they want to state the videos and what, what they call stupid drivers is drivers that make uh some you know some mistakes that could be avoided but i mean for some reason they they got caught up right and you know people put it together without whatever and just put it out there but this is it i saw some of those videos and it's mainly by swift i don't know other companies out there doing their stuff right but i mean i don't i don't know if the ones that happen at swift does always seems to be on camera or something but it's a lot i saw over the couple of years and what i want to talk about is is mainly for the swift drive well mainly for the, the younger drivers because when, when i look at those videos and i look at those condition or situation that those drivers got themselves in i know that is inexperience um cause those type of you know incident and one of them that stand out is I saw one where the guy was maybe in a plaza or, or a mall, you know, and I don't know what happened, but he, 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 he was trying to make a turn and he got stuck on one of the building on, on the edge of one of the building. And he was there trying to go back and forth, back and forth and destroying the trailer. There's another one where I don't know if the, the bridge was I don't know but he passed in front of the truck all the way in the middle of the trailer past the bridge and the back of the truck stuck under the bridge that one i don't know what to say because the front pass over the back got stuck unless you were going that fast that the front flew past you know but those things just keep popping in my head keep popping up on my facebook page you know and i, I don't keep seeing it now why I did this video is just that I just wanna cause when, when I look at those videos I see where some simple mistake caused those um, incident and I'm just you know just thinking about it and for sure I think those drivers are using their phones as GPS I almost sure those drivers are using their phone as GPS so I don't know if anyone can correct me but if you got the right gps that would take you on the truck route i don't think you, sh you would be in certain situations like what i saw you know what i mean especially um the bridge now i've been driving over the years well not long 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 but six years is long enough right and some of the bridge some of the bridges out there will have a section of the bridge that is lower than than one section so one section would be like 13 point point two so you know you can't go under that side but the same bridge of 13.6 maybe in the middle or so so you drive in the middle lane you know what i mean but that comes to paying attention on the journey you know what i mean because you have to look ahead or what I, what what i would normally do if if, if i'm if i'm running if I'm driving on a road that I'm that, that that's the first time I'm driving and I and I saw a bridge ahead, no signs, and I don't I can't I, the bridge look to my side look low. I'm not going to go under that bridge. I'm gonna put my indicator on. I'm gonna pull over and I'm gonna wait on a truck to see if a truck go underneath it before I go. And if I I I, I remember I I went to Brooklyn, New York, New York. I went to. JFK I went to make a pickup at JFK 
right? Let me switch it up. Oh. I went to make a pickup at JFK in uh, uh, New York. And we go, I was going around the cargo section. And trust me, there is no trucks allowed to go around there on the GPS. So I had to use my phone, right? So I took my phone out and was trying to find the, 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 the area to go around it because everywhere you look, it said no trucks, no trucks, no trucks. So you have to know the area to be able to drive to go around where the cargo area is when you're going at JFK to make a pickup, right? There was construction, construction going on on the road at the time and I made a wrong turn because the GPS said turn right and I don't know what happened, I went straight or something. When I look, I saw that the bridge ahead was saying 12.6 or 12 something but once i saw 12 i know i can't go to that bridge so i stopped i stopped it was traffic people was blowing all that and i didn't move i put my four-way flasher on you know what i mean i i went on my phone and i called i called the cops so that's what i did you know what i mean it's better to call them people gotta it's gonna be late for work or late for wherever they're gonna go but i'm not gonna go on that bridge because that can cost a license that can cost your company that can cause a lot of problems when making some move just because you want to maybe if you if you're already wrong you're already wrong so don't make it worse you know what i mean and when the cops came you know they drove they drove on the soft shoulder or whatnot and when they came what they did was they they direct me under the bridge at, at, at a section they told me the truck can go under the bridge at that uh section so that's what I did, right? I bring up this video for all the younger drivers that are going out there. You know, you will see these videos with Swift. You will see these videos with other trucking company out there um, running off the street, making some wrong turn, going on the bridge, stuck in on the bridge, you know, and all that. Now, my advice for you guys, because most of these videos don't even got a clarification of how to not get in the, that type of situation. So that's that's what this video is about so if you're interested and you want to be a better driver out there I'll, I'll advise you to you know sit back and take one and two note from what i'm going to say right first when you're starting off as a company or uh, as a driver a truck driver you know you got to start with a company right now my advice to you guys is invest invest in your career or invest in your job whatever you, you, you're coming out here to do if it's a taking on as a trucking career you're gonna just do a job to get some bills pay and go whatever you're gonna do invest in it that's what i want to say invest in it in terms of buy the necessary stuff that you will need don't rely on the the what, what the, the e-log that cut it most of the e-logs that come in the truck have a gps on it don't rely on it because the calculation the recalculation on those things are very slow so if you miss the route that it gave you, not saying the route that it gave you is wrong, but if you miss that turn, the recalculation is so slow. By the time they recalculate, you're already on a road that you shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Because some of the time, it's not like when you pass the route, you're, 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 you you can not stop. There, there are roads in front of you to turn on or to go straight on. And if you don't have the right GPS that can recalculate it fast to show you, okay, make this turn that coming up left or whatnot, you will caught up in some situation that there is no return you know what i mean so in my first thing is to invest into a truck gps it can be the garmin it can be the the, the ryan mcnally it can be what once is a truck gps a uh, very good one you invest in it you spend your money this is your job this is your license you you come on man i know it's not easy to get the license not easy to go to school and, and then you're gonna lose the license in same day two days three days you know what i mean invest in your job now the next thing is pay attention to all the signs even when you get your license and everything and even the oh, for the older drivers like me myself sometimes i run through the signs in the book you know what i mean so go back over the signs look through the signs again understand what the signs mean because when you go at a location all sign that is there have a meaning and you guys have to pay attention to those signs there is another video that I saw with a swift truck that stuck under a tree that was trying to make a turn. I don't know what he was trying to do, but he got stuck and the trailer got twisted and cracked or bent. Now, when I saw it, I'm like, at what point you, you, you did you think you, should, you, 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 you wanted to stop? 
at what point some of the time when i when i when i'm driving down the street and i look ahead and i see something too low like say like a tree branch say something just hanging down a bit low i slow all the way down all the way down and i take my time take my time if i if i hear something which i never actually hear anything before but the, the way i do it if i had hear something i would have stopped and that would have never caused any damage once you hear you, you're gonna hear it so you stop instantly put your four-year flasher on you know you made a mistake so you gotta clear it up now or try to get help but don't destroy you, you can lose your life you can lose your job man you, you don't want to have those information on your on your paperwork because the company is gonna release it to the next company that asks for it and then you, you you'll be sitting home after you waste so much so many time to get this job you lose your license within just a couple of months you don't even get to you know pay pay off the debts that you wanted to pay off or you know get your your career started off in trucking you know what i mean so pay attention you know that's one of the main main the biggest thing to pay attention on the street and i think the gps is one of the reasons why most of these guys are getting into these type of um situation because they're driving like they're driving a car you can't because of you don't want to spend this money or because this is too expensive or because listen things when you look at life there are certain things comes with price good things you got to pay for it the same way you get that license the reason why you got to pay so much money for that license is because it's a, it's a good thing it can make you make money so that's why the price is on it and that's why you even take the time out to go and get it because you know the value of the license no it's the same thing for the gps it's expensive yes but the value of the gps is the reason why that price is on it you know what i mean so you, you can ask your company to help you buy purchase a gps you know what i mean or if you have a credit card you, you, you buy a gps invest in your job or invest in trucking if that's the case do what it does to make your life easier well, i'm sweating i'm sweating now do what do what you need to do to make your life easier okay um i saw another one where i mentioned it earlier where, where um uh someone was trying to make a turn in, in in a parking lot where there was poles like a like light pole there it was a car parking lot but for some reason he got the truck going in there and he got the truck going in there and wanted to get back out and wanted to make the u-turn as soon as he get in he want to make the u-turn right away because he realized he's in the wrong area now listen if you're already in the wrong area already in the wrong area don't make it worse you know what i mean try to find a way to get out even if you got to reverse out put your float your four your flasher on you reverse for a minute you get out the truck you go around there and you look you go back in the truck you reverse for another another feet not minute feet you get out the truck you go around there and look if you see a car you try to stop the car if the car stop then you know the car you stop the car and the car is that length like you know you remember the length that the car is so you run go around there and you take your time come around the car once that car stop the other cars will stop behind it because it's a reason you know what i mean so you have to you, trust me I'm, I'm a driver i'm not gonna tell you i'm perfect i get into a situation but i know how to get out but you gotta be smart you gotta listen most of us when we are young when we are younger drivers we we have a tenden tendency to scared of what other people is going to say as in you don't want to feel embarrassed you know you don't want to feel hurt you don't want to feel you don't want anyone to be cursing and you look stupid okay i understand clearly but it bet it's it's best for one or two person cuss you that you're that you're stupid than everybody you meaning your company your co-workers your your family at home because it's gonna go out there you're gonna make the news you know what i mean so it's better to have two or three person that is ahead of the traffic cuss you out blow your arm at you or whatever that is okay to work with but not everyone in the world because when you try to please that person then you look stupid to everyone else you know what i mean because of not paying attention or not having enough faith in yourself listen trucking is a good job trucking is okay but to, to keep it it's even harder than to get it to keep your job 
and to keep going is even harder than to get it. And the next video I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a video on things that can get you fired from your company. Cause I, I saw most video out there, how to get a job, how to do well on the job, how to, uh, but I'm not seeing. Yeah, I think my friend had covered it. Uh, that's my friend there, uh, what, C, RCT TV or something? Uh, RCT or RTC, one of those uh, combination. He had covered a, a, um, a topic on his live, but I'm gonna do an actual video. Maybe I do a collab with him just to, you know, get it right because he do local, I do over the road. So we wanna put all those together in one just to have you guys understand some of the stuff that can, can cause you to lose your job. You know what I mean? Now, um. There are a couple more in my head, but I choose to do this one now because I was just looking at my Facebook as I stopped. I look at my Facebook and I saw another Swift truck, the one that's stuck under the the bridge. And I'm like, come on, man. No, something is wrong. I don't know if Swift want me to to come over and, 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 and give a, a session after the new drivers are, are, are through with, 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 with their orientation and stuff. Um, if anyone know anyone that work at Swift can send this video over to Swift and have them contact me let me come over and give a session you know what i mean I, I will do it free of cost no cost no no charges you know what i mean i'll just do it that's it try stars you know what i mean just i'll come over there and i i have some sessions that would 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 work fine for some of those new drivers that is coming out out there because i know you have your well you're well trained and um certified trainers and drivers there and I know you guys are, are, I know they are good, but sometimes there's a lot of way how you teach people. There's a lot of way how you, 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 you get some message across with people, you know what I mean? So they can, uh, they can still do what you're doing, but uh, you know, I would like to come over and do a session because I'm seeing it and I'm like, no, no, there's no way these guys can go through trainers and still come out here and do this type of stuff, you know what I mean? But I mean, like I said before, some of the time, is the investment is a problem not investing in your in your in yourself you know what i mean going the cheap way will always cost you going the cheap way taking shortcuts is not good in trucking you gotta you gotta go through right through you can't even buy i wouldn't advise if someone is gonna get a link like a link to get your license without going through the the, the, the old process i would say don't do it i would personally say don't Take no shortcut to get your CLD. Okay, so let, let 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 me just go over some of the stuff that I was uh, covering earlier. You know, what I mean, I just don't want to get straight straight away. This I just want to make make this video short. Also, um, invest in your in your in your career. Invest in trucking. You know, what I mean, get yourself a proper GPS. You know, what I mean, because that is one of the main reason why you guys get in that type of situation that I, that I'm looking at. There's no way the GPS is gonna tell you. Um, no truck route and you still go there. I don't think so. You know what I mean? So that means you're, you're, you're going you're going the cheaper way. You're going shortcut. You're taking a shortcut on the job or while doing trucking. And that's not good. The next thing, pay attention to the signs. There are signs everywhere. There are signs everywhere when it comes to even for trucking. You see some even when there's no other sign, there is a sign that says no truck. No truck can park. Uh, you know, the, just you always see signs. You know what I mean. So signs are everywhere. So pay attention to the signs. You know what I mean. Respect the signs. Even if you see the signs, don't say you know what. I'm still gonna do it because the sign is there. Respect. Even if you're gonna, let's say you're in a situation, the sign is there. And you wanna still take the risk. If you're gonna take the risk, do it like you're taking a risk. Don't do it like it's not a risk. You know, like. Let's say the the, 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 for the guy that's stuck under the tree, you know what I mean? Let's say there was a sign that says, no truck entrance, but you already turn in and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't, right? And you choose to go down there. Why are you driving down there like it, it's legal to do it? You have to take your time, go through, right, once you see that tree, you, you, right away you should tell yourself that, um, maybe that's the reason why I can't come here. And right away you will click and get back and you know what? Go on your phone, call your company, or call the police, or get someone to help you to back out or something. Just do it. It may look or seems different, but you have to do it just to save your license, 
save your butt and save your well not yourself anyways but i mean knowing how it's hard to get your cdl and how easy to lose it my advice to you guys is pay attention to your surrounding no shortcuts listen to your your coaches listen to the the, the, the school that you go to you know what i mean watch the, your youtube videos watch your your, your 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 listen if you're gonna get in trucking you have to have a, a channel on youtube that you should follow that's a number one thing you should have a channel to follow there are so much information on here on youtube for you guys to be able to get into these type of things find a channel it can be mine it can be anyone else yes youtube ah uh, back back again any one of any of my, my 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 subscribers that you know have something to leave in the comment for you know the, the beginners the younger drivers the, the rookies you know can leave it down there and also the, the the rookies are the newer drivers that is coming please go in this comment section and read you know pay attention to what these guys are saying down there you know what i mean because i know i i, I did not cover a lot but I just wanted to start this topic and, you know, make it be a topic that, you know, we can grow with along the way, you know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? One, one, one more thing I want to make um, explain to you guys. When you're new out here, all, your, all, all the turns that you're going to make, go wide, okay? Go extremely wide. Go as wide as possible until you 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 know your judgment of your truck you know when and where and how to to make your turns and everything but for now when you're just starting off when you're getting out there for to be safe go wide there's no problem with going wide just know when to use your signals you know what i mean you know how to block the streets to make it possible you know what i mean and yeah and i, and I also have some backup um sessions coming up so you guys can look out for that video also um, a, a subscriber had asked me about making right turns and stuff like that with trailer. I th I think I covered one already, but I'll try my best to do another one. But I will keep videos, you know, coming in just to help, help out, you know, my fellow truckers, truckers that is coming out here to do their thing and make some money. So thanks for tuning in. No, no, it's dry style trucking, you know what I mean? Um, you know, I just want to touch on that topic. So respect and have a great day. So try style. Okay, I was just talking about signs, but look, I'm, I'm parked at the back of a building where trucks are allowed, but at front, to the right, look at that sign right there. It's saying, basically, no truck. It, 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 it's in French, but even though it, it's in French, I don't need to, can read French to know that it means don't turn your truck around there. You know what I mean? So there are signs everywhere. Just pay attention and it will... For more videos you know, like this, please subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.